But what ends up happening, they end up down in some spiritual cul-de-sac or dead end, on the, or on some theological side street. So how do we, as God's people, avoid getting off track? Well, we have to start trusting God's wisdom, not ours. Which, by the way, means you have to be walking with God on a day-to-day -day basis. But every single time that we get off track, every single time that we fail to go where God would have us, is because we ended up trusting ourselves more than we trusted God. Every single time. So we, 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 when we seek a safe journey for him, from Him, what we're asking is, Lord, show us the way. Show us the way. Give us the straight path. Guide us. We're asking for his guidance. We're asking for his wisdom to know his will and to follow it. James tells us in James chapter 1, verses 5 and 6, he says, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously. Remember, God's a generous giver, right? And he generously gives to all without reproach this wisdom. And when we ask, it will give, be given him, he says. But then he says this, But let him ask in faith without doubting. See, when, when we're trusting, when we're relying upon the wisdom of God and asking for His wisdom, it's a step of faith. It's a step of trust. That's what the Jews were doing when they were asking God for a safe journey. They were seeking God's wisdom, and they were doing so really for three specific things. We should do the same. First, they fasted and prayed in order to, quote, seek from Him a safe journey for ourselves. So the first thing, if we were going to be asking God's wisdom, his unlimited wisdom. We need to ask for his wisdom for ourselves. For you as an individual. Listen friend. It is perfectly okay. To ask God to speak to you. To reveal to you. His plan for your life. God has a plan for you. And this plan is not simply about you having a job. And paying the bills. And raising your kids. And, and a little bit of church involvement sprinkled in there. And preparing for your retirement. But in the middle of all of that, God is working and has placed you in this world, in this place, at this time, for a particular reason. He has a will for you. But you know, that's where most Christians live, away from that. They're just busy with life, living their life, doing the things that they've got to do. They're on autopilot. Pilot. They're just coasting through life. Just trying to get through this year, trying to get through this month, trying to get through this week. I mean, for goodness sake, just, Lord, just get me through this day. And then get an amen, right? <laughs> It's hard sometimes. And for many of you, maybe it's been a long time since God did something new in your life. And to be frank, I'm probably talking about a lot of people here. The reason why your walk with the Lord is stale, the reason why you're distant from the Lord is because you're not seeking the Lord's path in your life. You're not spending time with Him. You're not daily seeking Him and asking for His wisdom. You're not seeking from Him a straight journey, a straight path. Never forget that you have access to a God, the God, without limits. He can do unlimited things through you and for you, but you are telling him no thanks every single day when you're trying to live this life without him involved in it. All because you're trusting your wisdom more than you trust his. As a Christian, I'm telling you, it's time to quit coasting. It's, it's time to trust the Lord's wisdom. And he has a plan and a purpose for your particular life. It's why he's created you and placed you here. Seek him. Seek his wisdom. And he'll show you the straight path. So you need to be trusting the unlimited wisdom of God for yourself. But not just 